Hi everybody, good evening. How are you doing? Good evening. Hello, hello guys. Is everybody good? Is everybody fine? Hi Jackie, hi Rene, Pedrina. Hi Guadalupe, how are you? Hi. Norbert. Hello, I see Brenda too. Richard, how are you? How's everybody doing? ¿Cómo les está yendo, guys? How are you? Everything good? Good, me. Okay. Okay. Siento que han venido ahora un poquito tímidos. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. 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 Yes, I fine. Nice, nice yes. to hear that. Okay, yes. great, great, great. So, guys, espero que hayan tenido un muy buen martes. How was your day? Estuvo difícil, was it difficult? Was it a little busy? Un poco ocupado, not too much? Normally, teacher. Normal Tuesday, okay. Prefer Monday and not Tuesday. <laughs> All right, so me alegra verlos, guys. Eh, I'm super happy to see you there. Gracias por la asistencia, por estar conectados eh, tempranito, you know. And, uh, y también por eh, completar las actividades de la platform. Por ahí vi que algunos ya me avanzaron, ya me la terminaron. Así que excelente, súper buen trabajo. Eh, de las sesiones one on one. También estoy pendiente con las tareas de algunos compañeros que les pedí me mandaran audios. Ustedes ya saben quiénes son. <ríe> no lo voy a mencionar. No, mentira. So, um, tenemos one on one pendiente, guys. Eh, remember, algunos les he solicitado que me estén mandando como audios cortitos para que podamos ir practicando eh, speaking, para que revisamos pronunciación y también para darles seguimiento, right? Así que, eh, guys, estamos pendientes. Porfa, escríbanme y me los envían. So that is quite fine. Creo que escuché la voz de Alex por ahí también. Deme un segundito solamente. Okay, there we go. Give me just a second. Let's modify this. Guys, ¿me escuchan con eco? Or, or ¿me escuchan bien? Can you hear me nicely? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, amazing. Uh, hola, Alex. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Hi, Karina. Hi, Brenda. Hi. Hello, Sarai. How are you? Ignacio, good evening. Danis, hello. Hi. Good How are you? Good evening. Hello. ¿Qué tal, chicos? ¿Cómo están? Busy. busy. Yeah. Like a busy bee. Okay. <laughs> Hola, Pedrina. How are you? Hello, Hello Miss. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hello. There you go. <laughs> no worries. Me imagino que se cambió de... de the device, porque a mí eso me ah. pasa cuando estoy con el teléfono, you know, se ha escuchado, pero no hay problema. All right. So, thanks everybody. Gracias por acompañarnos. Eh, nice attendance, you know. Hola, Ignacio, ¿qué tal? Good evening. Glad to see you there. So, we are going to get started. Solamente me ayudan con su camarita un momento, please. Let me take attendance. 
eh, y pues para que podamos empezar you know, a practicar today. Um, so, déjame un segundo. Okay. Regálame solamente un momento. For some reason, se resetió. My attendance. Wait. Um, okay, wait, 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 hold on. Okay, then we un par de minutitos. Give me yes, some seconds. I'm going to fix this because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, this disappeared. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna try to open it up in a moment. Okay, so in the meantime, um, let's just get started. Let's voy a pasar assistance in un momentito. Just give me a second. Let me open it up. All right, guys. So uh, today we got a session number uh, 14. El día de mañana estamos terminando la unidad número 3. I feel so excited about it, you know, because in a way, pues ya estamos más cerca de nuestro objetivo final, right? Que es aprender um, inglés de tal manera que nos podamos comunicar, que podamos compartir ideas, que podamos escuchar y entender qué es lo que me están preguntando o lo que me están eh, compartiendo, right? So, um, I feel really excited because todos han mejorado bastante, así que let's keep on working on this today. I have um, some, vamos a revisar un poquito de presente continuous para hablar de lo que estamos haciendo ahorita y nuestros planes a futuro también. So, um, also today, uh, Tuesday the 7th, eh, tengo one on one con Clary, so creo que todavía no está con nosotros, pero esperemos que cuando se una ya nos, you know, we can have some minutes with her. So, tengo otras preguntitas para ustedes, guys. I have just Three questions for you. Number one, what are your plans for this year? Sabemos que casi se nos acaba. Three more months to go. Y pues ya está over. So normally at the very beginning of the year, nos ponemos planes, right? We set some uh, goals. Now, ¿cuáles son sus planes para los próximos three months? What are you going to do? What do you want to do with your life, with your job, with your goals? Um, so let's talk about the first one. Guys, what are your plans for this year? ¿Cuáles son sus planes? What are your plans? Um, teacher. Yes. Um, okay. okay. Wait. Uh, uh, finish uh, English. One. Okay. Uh, two. Uh, uh, university. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, new world. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, that's it. Okay, so you want to you want to finish English, you say. Well, I would say continue, right? <laughs> uh, continuar estudiando hasta el próximo, no todavía, no, not like finish, but continue, right? For the next three months. And you said your job. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, see there. Okay. Yes, the the cook is in the chair. We need to be. Ah, and is there a star university? Ah, uh, oh, star the university. Yes. Amazing. So, what career do you want to study? What career, Richard? Ya pensó en qué carrera? Have you thought about the career? Uh, uh, technic, um, uh, mechanic, uh, engineer. Okay, so mechanical yes. engineering. Yes. Okay, okay, great, great. That sounds amazing. So hopefully, espero que pueda, mister. So I really hope you can make it and the best of luck. So that sounds great. Really, really good. All right. So what about the rest of you guys? Uh, what are your plans for this year? Solo son tres meses. So in these three months, uh, what do you want to do? Ya pensaron en eso? Have you thought about it? Hi, Mabel. Good evening. Hi, Hi, Eduardo. Good evening to Brian. Hello. Tell me. Hello. Hello. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> so, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for joining. All right. Yes, yes. Tell me. Tengo, tengo un problema con mi computadora, se me ha dañado y yo con el celular no logro conectar la cámara, entonces así voy a estar toda la semana, creo, hasta que... Ah, ok, ¿está con, la, con, con el teléfono ahorita? Sí. Oh, ok. Entonces, como que, eh, por eso es que voy, le, le aviso porque no tengo la cámara y, y no sé por qué cuando en el teléfono la pongo no escucho con claridad. Porque no creo que tendría que ver, porque es más por la señal, pero no sé por qué me dificulta. Puede ser alguna configuración de, de, de la cámara, too, right? Um, so, si gusta, le, le pregunto mañana a los compañeros de soporte. Por el momento, gracias por estar acá. Y, I mean, this way, sé que es porque, um, because your camera is not working. Uh -huh, so, I can take you. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. So, Mabel, now that you're there, <laughs> so what are your plans for this year? ¿Cuáles son sus planes para estos tres meses? What are your plans? Um, pues, okay. I'm planning to exercise in the gym. Oh, very nice. Okay, did you already start? ¿Ya comenzó? ¿Have you started? No, no. Uh, iniciaría, I'm a star in October. Oh, next month. All right. No, very nice. Yeah, so definitely that's a really good goal. I hope you can make it. <laughs> so that's good. So go to the gym. What else? Uh, ¿Qué? ¿Qué más? Besides going to the gym. So go to the gym. Por lo pronto eso. Porque okay. I'm planning to travel, uh, but in um, January. January. Oh, okay. So where are you going? Mexico. Oh, nice, nice. Are you going on vacation or for work? Vacation. <laughs> oh, amazing. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> so if I don't see you in January back, so I really hope you, you enjoy it. All right. Yes, yes, Ignacio. Uh, I, I think about my job mm -hmm. and in our company, okay. include um, they they plan to study the new water law because you know the new water law. 
in El Salvador. Yes, yeah, so that everybody can have access to water. So, yeah, I think I have heard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, because it affects the service. We provide the construction of water well, you know. Mm, okay. And that, that is the, our plan for this year. That is the okay. new, the new, the, the water, the new water law. Yeah. Okay. No, but that's amazing. I really hope you can, you can get it done. All right. Perfect. Guys, what about the rest? Let's take a look at the second question. What are you doing on the weekend? Does anybody have a plan for this weekend, this Saturday and this Sunday? And this weekend, I going to shorts in the in the uh, so, Sunday in the morning. Ah, because, very nice. Because, because it's, I have de ir. You I have stopped. stopped. You have I stopped st going. I stopped going, and I going. I I'm going, and I am uh, starting uh, uh, going. Uh, oh, very good. Okay, yeah. so you, you are planning to go back. Yes. So you're planning to, to start uh, attending church again. Now, beautiful. Yes. That's nice. Okay, how long have you stopped going? He... How... <laughs> years? It's just yes, for 10 years, maybe. Oh, pensé que me iba a decir 10 días, 10 semanas. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yes. ya, ya. Ya casi me condeno otra vez. <laughs> okay, 10 years. No, but it's a really good plan. I mean, something personal, right? That you want to do. Okay. Yeah. Great, great. Sounds okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? What, do you, what, what are you doing this weekend? Anybody? Anita, Sarai, Norbert, do you want to share with us? Uh, Jackie? Teacher, in my Hello. case, the, the normally uh, work, uh, work mm -hmm. uh, I study English. Ah, okay. Yeah. Um, um, oh. I am going, going to uh, visit my family. Oh, this weekend. Where do they live? Do they live in, in the paradise too? Do they live in El Paraíso? Mm, yes, uh, a unos three kilometers. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Está bien cerca. So yes. they live really close. Okay, do you walk or do, they, do you take a bus? Uh, in my motorcycle. Ah, okay. No, but it's nice because they are very close to you. So that sounds great. What about the rest of you guys? Nelson, tell us what are you doing this weekend? Hi, Miss. Yes, Guadalupe, hello. Tell us, do you so, have plans for this weekend? Are you working on yes. Saturday? No, I am going to stay in my house. Oh, okay. What is the plan? Saturday. Um, no, only rest. And the uh, Sunday, I'm mm -hmm. going to visit my father. Where does your father live? He lives in uh, Ciudad del Gado City. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. With my, my sister. Oh, okay. Sorry, I got an, R, an extra R. Oh, but, but that's good. I mean, if you take the time to visit your family, that's beautiful. So that's a really good thing, right? To spend or to have family time. All right. Nice. Nice. But, but your schedule is beautiful because you rest on Saturday and Sunday. So you yes. have the two, uh, the, you know, weekends off. That's amazing. Yes. Yeah, like Danis, for example, like normally see that Danis goes to the beach on the weekend. I mean, I just love it. <laughs> so having weekends off is beautiful. All right. Nice. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. What about the last one? What TV programs are you watching? Guys, I mean, I guess everybody watches TV, but like right now, 
no a esta hora, right? Not at 8 p.m., pero sino en estos días, like this month, this week, what TV programs are you watching? So what do you watch? Uh, in my case, means I'm watching the Ken and Care. Okay. I like, yeah. Oh, what is that? <laughs> is that a reality show? Is uh, no, is is comedy? Oh, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. comedy, a comedy program. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, Karina, what are you watching these days? I was watching La Casa de Papel. Oh, okay, Netflix, right? Five season. Yes. Did you watch the five seasons already? Uh, just you the finish. Yes, but uh, recently I was watching just the, uh, the five season. Yeah, the other I season I watched, I watched uh, some Like before? Ah, uh, before. Ah, okay. Is that a good one? Is that a good TV program? I really like because oh. it is like a suspense. Suspense? Okay, like a thriller. <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah. every so every pro every program uh -huh. capítulo yes every every episode every every, every episode um, no. uh, I don't know it's different <laughs> it's different it's interesting in, uh -huh. interesting to the next Oh, okay, okay. But, sorry about the la casa de papel to use the hard vocabulary. Ah, yes, in, it's in what do, Spanish. <laughs> but but it's in you, Spanish. What the, do you mean act, hard vocabulary? Uh, words, but. Ah, ah okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the only thing, as you said, is the accent. I don't like Casa de Papel because of the accent, because it's a Spanish accent, not Latino, right? So, but have you seen you have it? The guys? opportunity to see in English if you want. What? See? Really? Yes. Can you watch it in English? Mm. No, but I will probably I I will you, uh -huh. uh, see again, but in English. <laughs> oh, I didn't know they have they have like the double uh, language, like you could swap. That's beautiful if you can do that. <laughs> yeah, yes. watch it in English yes. without yes. subtitles. Okay, that's nice, guys. What about the rest of you? What are you watching? Anita, are you watching any TV program? Jackie, are you watching any, any, or what are you watching on TV these days? Hi, Marvin. Thanks a lot for joining, Mr. Lopez. You're not watching anything? Okay, Siri. So, I'm, Hi, teacher. I'm serious. Hello. What are what are you watching on TV, Alex? I mean, uh, well, sí, también es Alex, pero Mr. Lopez. <laughs> no los quiero confundir. So what are you watching on TV? <laughs> Nothing? You don't watch TV, guys? <laughs> So you are like really busy, you don't watch TV, do you? Um, so for example, now there is a program I really like. No sé si alguna vez lo vieron, se llama Wild Frank. That is kind of from National Geographic, not Geo. Have you ever seen it? No. No? no. Do, you, do you like watching a National Geographic things? Oh, uh, you know, yeah. Like animals, snakes, wildlife, yeah. no? Yeah. So I strongly recommend you Wild Frank. <laughs> so that is a program I'm watching. But it is in YouTube, not on the TV. But that is like in YouTube. 
Um, years ago, si estuvo en la TV, right? But now it's oh, just okay. in YouTube. Sorry, but even, even, <clears throat> even if they say de la familia Peluche, maybe. Uh, <laughs> Oh. They should say la familia peluche. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's it's quite unbelievable, guys, that you are not watching TV. I think it's very common these days. Well, quizás es más común uh, YouTube, right? Like Facebook, Instagram, uh, and social networks rather than TV, probably. I don't know. All right, guys, let's move on a little bit. Vamos a revisar un poquito de vocabulary before... We get into uh, grammar practice. Creo que vienen un poquito quiet today. <laughs> Me imagino que el cansancio del lunes los ha dejado like. <laughs> but I hope we can feel better later. So let's take a look at this. Antes de iniciar, vamos a repetir un, un poquito, you know, just to get the pronunciation of the words. So please, repitan conmigo. The first one, lake. 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 Quiet. 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 Happen. Happy. Feelings. 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 Follow. 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 T-shirt. 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 I am a teacher. Teacher. Ah. But, well, it's not a t-shirt, but it's an applause. <laughs> pero yeah. tenemos teacher and t-shirt. This is a t-shirt, all right? T-shirt. T-shirt. Yeah, T-shirt. Bien tranquilo. Uh -huh. T-shirt. Okay. Next one. Carry. 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 Hold. 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 Wear. Like clothes. Wear. 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 Height. 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 Okay. Good. I need your examples. Deme oraciones. Give me examples, please, using these words. Let me explain them really quick. Late. So we have Coatepeque's Lake, we have uh, Ilopango's Lake, we have uh, Alegria, no, that's a lagoon. Yes. That's uh, a lagoon, I think. Okay, Coatepeque and Ilopango, they are lakes. The okay. Wiha Lake. Wiha Lake, Wiha or Coatepeque. I think it's the same, I don't know. Okay, yeah. soy malísima con geography. <laughs> Uh -huh. But I know that is quite a Okay. Quiet. The next one. Quiet, right? Quiet. You are very quiet today. Están como bien calladitos, en silencio. So that's quiet, all right? The other one. Happen, all right? Hey, what happened? All right? So, oh, yeah. ¿qué pasó? Pues what so. happened? All right, yes. Happen es suceder o pasar. Pero cuando hablamos de situaciones. So, um... For example, the most common question is what happened, all right? ¿Qué pasó? All right? So we can use that one. Then we have feelings. Yeah, so when you say, tengo sentimientos por alguien, I have feelings for someone, or I don't feel anything. <laughs> I don't have feelings anymore. I don't know what's your case, all right? Um, then we have follow. So follow is like to continue. Okay, um, so you follow a person probably, or you follow rules, or you follow policies. So follow oh. is seguir, right? Okay. So probably seguimos instrucciones, so you follow instructions, o seguimos un camino específico, so you follow a, a, specific, a specific path, o seguimos a alguien. So cuando usted dice, síganme, follow me. Okay, Hello. so that's follow, exactly, de seguir, all right? Um, the next word we got is t-shirt, so t-shirt is la camiseta, right, a t-shirt, yes. and I am a teacher, so teacher, yeah. t-shirt, okay, t -shirt. se parece mucho, la diferencia está en teacher, es fuerte, t-shirt, es bien tranquilo, that's the difference in the sound. The next word is carry, ¿quién me ayuda con carry? Carry. Llevar. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Como la canción. Carry on. Okay. So yeah. carry. <laughs> exactly. That is carry. Okay. Llevar algo. Right? Hold. Me gusta esa palabra. And we don't use it that much. Hold. Como. Dejar. ¿Seguro? 
Podría sí. ser, depende del contexto, everything depends on the context. Yo le puedo decir a alguien, Guadalupe, téngame esto. <laughs> so, uh, I can tell you, hold this for me, please. So, hold it. Ok, como, manténgamelo por ahí, all right? Oh. Or guárdemelo. So, hold the puede ser como, sosténgalo por mí. Hold it for me, all right? Pero también hold, le puedo agregar la expresión on, hold on, y es como, espéreme, permítame, ¿ok? Sí. Hablando de, de espere, de esperar. Probably cuando... Uh, you call in hold. Exactly, the call can be on hold. De hecho, si lo tienen en inglés, dice hold. Uh -huh. That's one. Pero también, if you are on the phone, you can tell a person, permitíme un segundo. Oh, hold on a second. All right. So hold on es, espéreme un momento, permítame un momento. Hold on, right? Or if I'm thinking, oh, hold on, hold on, right? So es espéreme, permítame. Um, then we have the other one where, talking about clothes. So I'm wearing a blouse and I'm wearing a pair of jeans. Okay, so what are you wearing? ¿Qué andan puesto? Remember, wear es de vestir. No utilizamos tanto la palabra use para ropas, no, wear. What are you wearing? T-shirt. And yes. What is the difference in between hold and weight? Hold and weight. Mm, those are good. That's a really good question. El weight es cuando yo espero a alguien. So, for example, um, yo esperé 10 minutos para que viniera la electricidad. So, I waited 10 minutes for electricity. En cambio, hold, eh, también puede ser, pero es que hold es más como, depende del contexto. Se utiliza mucho en llamadas telefónicas, right? Cuando usted le dice, espéreme, pero de, de, de me tiempo, right? En cambio, wait, uh, lo asociamos mucho como de, uh, how can I say that? Como que hay alguien ahí parado, <ríe> okay, esperando por algo. Se parecen bastantes, pero todo depende del contexto. Um, le puedo decir a alguien, por ejemplo, oh, espere por mí un par de minutos. Wait for me, please. Y está bien. Pero no sería adecuado decirle, hold on for me. Y you no, know, no sería como la palabra que utilizamos. Entonces, tiene mucho que ver con el contexto en el que se utilizan. Um, en el teléfono, por ejemplo, no sería muy adecuado que le diga a alguien, wait, please. Mm, no, es, no es muy común. Lo más común en el teléfono es decirle, hold on, please. Lo confundo mucho. <ríe> Or, is that okay? So, para decirle a alguien, espéreme de, oh, voy caminando, I'm walking, y le digo, oh, espéreme, por favor. So, I can tell them, oh, wait for me, please. Ya, yeah, como espéreme, deténgase ahí. Ya, yeah? so, wait for me, please. But, en el teléfono, es más común, hold on. So, todo uh, depende del contexto. <ríe> Everything okay. is on the context. All right. Um, and the next one we have is where we said. Y la última palabra, kite. What is a kite? Do you play with kites? Do you like kites? Picucho. Exactly. Like in October, right? So that we could fly uh -huh, some kites. So that is kite. Okay, guys, now, um, that was my talking time. Ahora es su talking time. Deme oraciones, porfa. Give me some sentences using the words that we have right here. Lake. ¿Quién me ayuda con una oración con lake? No me lo escriban. Say it. Just say it, please. Hi, miss. Oh, please. Go ahead. Be my guest. In uh, Suchitoto, sí, is... There is a big lake. Okay, so there is a big, big lake. All right, very good. Anybody else? Alguien más tiene una con lake? I want to go to Cuatepec Lake. Okay, I want to go to a Cuatepec Lake. Yes. Anybody else? Alguien más? Lake? And the Ouija Lake is border to Guatemala. Oh, okay, okay, nice. Wait, I got a question for you. So, Coatepeque and Ouija no son el mismo. Aren't they the same? 
Okay. No. Debo de estudiar geografía. <laughs> I need to go back to school. <laughs> um, I was but, confused. Sorry, teacher, but the what the Coatepeque Lake is a beautiful, beautiful lake. Oh yeah, in, that's in, really in, beautiful. In, in it's located in El Congo. In uh -huh. the and yeah. the Wiga Lake is um is a hot is a hot lake. But it's Metapan, located yes. in Metapan. Um, okay. Yes. Santa, uh, uh, twice is located in Santa Ana department. Yeah. So I was mistaken. Yeah, you're right. Because in the map of El Salvador, it looks like the top of the top. It's the only thing I remember when I drew the maps. Okay. Thank you so much for the information. All right. Let's go with quiet. Guys, what do you have with quiet? Remember, quiet is como calmado, tranquilo, silencio, right? Or silencioso. Can you give me an example using quiet? Yesterday, my family were quiet. Oh, why? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a good, good example. My family was very quiet. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Say it, guys, say it. My beautiful pet is mm -hmm. quiet. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow, that's not common. All right. Sarai, Pedrina, do you have example for us? Brian, any example for us? Everybody's quiet. <laughs> okay. Richard, as the Richard is being quiet the order. Richard, do you have any example for us? What's going on, guys? Why are you guy, so quiet guy, today? The guy right now, quiet. Everybody's quiet today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's all right, that's okay. <laughs> so yes, exactly, that's quiet. Um, I'm going to omit the part of happen, all right? Porque es más utilizado ya como en, en historias, cuando empezamos a contar, like, ¿sabes lo que me pasó? Do you know what happened to me? Let me tell you what happened to me but not really like in a normal conversation, right? Um, okay. Let's go with follow. So follow is como seguir, right? Me pueden ayudar feeling? con follow? Danny, that is? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Can you repeat, please? Feeling? Como begin. No, después de happen, feeling. Oh, feelings, oh, yes. thank you. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I skipped it. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, do you have an example with feelings? Please don't hurt my feelings. <laughs> okay, what do you have with feelings? I am feeling on my daughter. Oh, okay. So you yes. have a strong feelings for your daughter? Okay. Yes. What about the rest? Uh, yes, go, please. Um, you must follow the recipe to make lunch. Oh, okay. Como la, como, um, como la receta, right? Uh -huh. como, okay. Um, that, that's a very good one. Normally, con comida, utilizamos la palabra recipe. Mm -hmm. So you must follow the recipe to make lunch. That's true. Pero ni así sale, Mabel. <laughs> okay. I don't feel good with uh, Bitcoin. Oh, you don't feel good with Bitcoin. Guys, by the way, ya descargaron la aplicación. <laughs> Did you download the application? Did you get no. your $30? Yeah, I have $30. Really? Did you get your $30? Yeah. Did you? And yeah. Then, in, in one of my song to transfer $5, is the is function is, is it works wow nice so guys it's, i it's tried trading <laughs> so you empezaron a trading yeah <laughs> you empezaron a invertirlos okay yeah. but but i tried but for some reason no me aparece ni siquiera en el buscador <laughs> i couldn't download it all right so what about the rest of you? Ya se lo gastaron, guys. Yo creo que están quiet, quizás porque se lo fueron a gastar or something. <laughs> I don't know. Did you spend your $30 already, guys? 
Hi, Claudia. Good evening. Did you spend your money? Hi, Jocelyn. Oh, nice. I think we got full house. Hello. How are you? Jocelyn, ya te gastó los 30 dólares de bitcoins. Eh, no. Aún no los tengo. No sé cómo se hace eso. Okay. But no, me neither. So, yeah, I don't know how to get it either. So, um, only, so then, only Ignacio got it. Los demás todavía no han intentado. Have you tried? Guadalupe, do you have the money already? No. No? no. Go, guys. Descar Go. Descarguenlos y, no, y nos cuentan si funcionan. <laughs> so you tell us if it works. Pues sí, and, and we can give it a try, you know. So... and bar medieval. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you can invest yeah. your money. <laughs> so you can invest it or, I don't know, get it like in cash, right? Yeah, oh. solo era. I'm just curious. Quiero saber cómo funciona. I want to know how it works. Okay. So let's go with, okay, so that was René's example, which is really good. He has a feelings about bitcoins. <laughs> okay, where will follow? Um, nos decía Mabel, you have to follow the recipe to get the food or to make lunch. Perfect example. Alguien más tiene un ejemplo con follow? Gracias, Aray. Follow, de seguir. Do you follow directions? Wait. Siguen instrucciones? Do you follow the yes. yes. Creo que escuché la voz de uh, Jocelyn. You can follow me in Instagram. Oh, you can follow me in Instagram. All right. Yes. Guys, by the way, I have um, a pictures, a photography Instagram page in case you want to follow me. Oh, that's a good example. Okay. Any, any other example? I can I follow, follow a slur, slur, a new a new career a new career yes uh, okay yes I can I can it's correct hello okay, can no. you repeat that please creo que I mean creo que el follow sería como continuo verdad ajá uh -huh. I can follow. follow. Quizás sería más adecuado utilizar en este caso continuo. So I want to continue studying at the career. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning Ahora, follow, teacher? Es seguir, pero um, por el contexto quizás sería mejor continuo. O, uh, por ejemplo, quiero seguir mis estudios. I want to follow, quiero seguir mis, mis sueños. Eso sí se puede. I want to follow my dreams. So that is possible. Mm -hmm. Oh, for example, yes, I want tell me. to follow the plan, planet. Yes, exactly. I want to follow the plan. Eso sí. That is a good example. Okay. Yeah, definitely. What about t-shirt? Do you have an example with t-shirt? Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. I tell need me. to buy a shirt, a t-shirt. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, me too. I need to buy a new t-shirt to do exercise, okay. So, um, yes, FYI, tenemos la palabra t-shirt, que es como una camiseta, right, muy informal, y si le quitamos la T, se convierte en shirt, que sería una camisa formal, or una tipo polo, por ejemplo. So you have t-shirt, camiseta, and shirt, que es ya camisa, right? So, okay. por si la ven sin la T, no es que esté equivocado, sino es una camisa, cambia la palabra, right? Um, mm -mm. We are going to, vamos a ver estas palabras en un par de segunditos, but I just wanted to make sure that you got this right. Uh, so let's continue y ahorita los practicamos. We will practice them in a little while. First, vamos a practicar un poquito de present continuous today. Okay, and uh, just to get started, vamos a iniciar con preguntas. First, antes de completar este ejercicio, hagamos un pequeño recap de present continuous. En caso no se recuerdan, you know, or 
se nos haya olvidado un poquito. So present progressive or present continuous, el cual es el mismo, um, nos ayuda. You know, we are going to use it for describing activities that are happening now, right now, today, these days. So todos, todas las actividades que suceden con present continuous son um, what, actividades, pero de estos días, de esta semana, right? Algo que es reciente. También puedo utilizar present continuous para hablar de futuro, como next week, next month, next year, tomorrow, etc. Me sirve para las dos cosas, la estructura es la misma, so ya vamos a ver exactly how to use it. So, present continuous lleva dos elementos principales. Number one es el verbo to be, que sería am um, y senar, el que ustedes ya conocen. Y el siguiente es el ing. So, le agregamos ing a todos los verbos para hablar de lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. Right? So, um, oh, okay. Okay. So, for example, if I ask you guys, what is your classmate? What is your classmate doing? All right. So, algunos están como un poquito calladitos. I guess they are spending their bitcoins <laughs> right now. And uh, imagínense que vamos a, um, a hablar un poquito de los compañeros. Imagine that we are going to talk a little bit about them. And I ask you, hey guys, what are your classmates doing? Or what is your classmate doing? Hagámoslo plural. What are your classmates doing? ¿Qué creen que estén haciendo? For example, I see some of your cameras and, you know, and I get the picture of what you are doing. For example, um, let me see. Let me see. I see Sarai, for example. Oh, I think Sarai is riding on the bus. <laughs> okay, or, or I think that she is commuting or she is going back to her house. Pero lo sé porque me lo acaba de decir. <laughs> okay, what about your classmates? So, ¿qué están haciendo? What do you think they are doing? Um, for example, no veo la cámara de Danis. I don't see Danis. I don't see Brian. I don't see most of them. So, guys, inventemos un poquito. Let's make it up. Anita, Pedrina. Richard. Oh. Uh -huh. So, what do you think they're doing? Ah, ya le encendieron. <laughs> okay. So, let's no, gossip no a little. Silencio. I don't see Nelson, for example. Creo que Nelson, I haven't seen your face in a long time. <laughs> okay. I think I'm missing. No, I see Jocelyn there. Uh, Mr. Lopez. He's you know, going. So, what, what do you think they are doing, guys? ¿Qué, ¿Qué creen que estén haciendo? What do you think they are doing? Studying oh. English. I think... <laughs> I think... <laughs> studying uh, English. Just studying English. English. <laughs> I think yeah. uh, my, my classmate uh, eating. Oh, okay. Yeah. It is, a, yeah, it is right, yeah. Probably about the time, so. <laughs> <laughs> they are eating or sleeping. Really, do you think so? For example, um, no veo a Alex, pero lo escucha temprano. I think Alex is working. Por la hora, I believe he's still working. Um, so what about the rest of your classmates? ¿Qué están haciendo? What do you think they are doing? I am reading on the couch. Oh, so you're lying down. Casi, <laughs> Yoseli. So you're almost there. Are you falling asleep? Se está quedando dormido. Are you falling asleep? No, 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 no. So you're thinking. <laughs> okay, so you're listening. All right, perfect. What about the rest? What do you think they are doing? They they are checking the social media. Oh, they are checking social media. Okay, yeah, like Facebook oh. probably. Uh huh. Or maybe Brian, for example, Brian Odir. That's mommy. He to wash your tooth, maybe. 
Oh, he's brushing. Okay, probably he's brushing his teeth. All right. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we can, yeah, tell me. Danny is uh, paying attention in the classroom. Danny is. Yes. Yes, Danny is paying attention, definitely. All right. Sure. So, what Thank about. You, <laughs> No quiso ser gossip okay. de Dani. Right. He didn't want to gossip about him. All right. So, um, yeah, but normally we do have like a lot of activities here. So very good job here. Remember, utilizamos siempre el verbo to be. Oh, I think, for example, that Ignacio is having a cookie or is having an apple. So siempre le el verbo to be y luego ing. That is mandatory. Now, ¿qué sucede? What happens si yo quiero preguntarle qué está haciendo o si está haciendo una actividad específica? Check it out. Um, in a sentence, normally I have subject, verb, to be, and then ing. Like, uh, oh, yeah, I guess correctly. Ignacio is eating, <laughs> for yes. example, right? Pero quiero asegurarme. Entonces yo vengo y le pregunto. Oh, está, está cenando, está acostado, está estudiando inglés, <ríe> está haciendo yes, la tarea, yes, right? Yes, yes. Ya, yeah. ¿cómo hago esa pregunta? Check it out. Vamos a hacer un pequeño cambio acá. El verbo to be viene al inicio. Ya, yeah, esa va a ser la pregunta. This is going to be the question. Yes. So, verb to be viene al inicio. Después del verb to be, yo le agrego el subject, ok, en ese orden. Y luego siempre el ING, all right? So, ¿cómo le pregunto a Ignacio si él está, por ejemplo, comiendo, si está cenando, right? Mi sujeto, digamos, es el yo, porque le voy a preguntar directo. Are you eating? Uh -huh, exactly. Y el verbo to be que va a ir acá es el que le corresponde al yo. So, Ignacio, are you having dinner? Are you eating right now? Yes, I do. Okay, are you having dinner? Okay, there we go. La pregunta es súper fácil, solamente hago un pequeño cambio. Now, um, mi pregunta es, are you, is your classmate, is your mother, is your father? ¿Cómo voy a responder? Fácil. Voy a responder con el mismo verbo to be. Yes, I am. Yes, he is. Yes, she is. Yes, we are. Right? Verbo to be, porque la pregunta fue con el verb to be. So... Um, imagine, for example, I want to ask Anita. Anita, are you cooking? Are, are you making dinner right now, Anita? And Anita is gone. <laughs> Okay, so probably she's out. Okay, probably yeah. she's out. No, probably she's just away. Uh huh. Probably yeah, she's away. She's That's fine. Asleep. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So this is the one. Richard. Imagine I got, I got Richard for example, and I come and I ask Richard. ¿Qué le podemos preguntar a Richard, guys? What can we ask him? Una pregunta para Richard. No, se le pregunta. Pero es que se le pregunta. Are you eating some snacks? Oh, okay. Are you eating some snacks? I mean, como ahorita, right? So, are you, are you eating? Remember, eating or having, cualquiera de los dos verbos están súper bien. So, are you having some snacks, Richard? No. I. No. No. Oh, I have a question for you, Richard. Are you uh, are you having uh, a strict diet? Are you having a strict uh, diet? Yes, I do. Uh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, yes, I, am. Uh, yes, yes I am. Yes, I am. Really? Yes. Wow. Sorry. What? Okay. And now, quiero saber qué es lo que está comiendo. ¿Cómo le pregunto qué es lo que está comiendo? What are you eating perfect so richard what are you eating these days yes i eat, eating um i am i am a salad 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 
Yes, uh, use uh, avena. Oatmeal. Yes. Okay. Um, a tuna. Tuna, uh, uh -huh. yes. tuna. Yes. Um, Richard, uh, what what yes. are you eating? What are you eating for breakfast? Yes, what? Breakfast. The desayuno. What are you ah, eating for breakfast? Okay, okay. Um, uh, for I am. ages, I am. I am eating. I am eating um, for uh, ages. Eggs. Uh, a ages. Eggs. Eggs. Mm -hmm. Good. Eggs, um, uh huh. For wraps, wraps, toast, no sé cómo se dice. Toast, toast, toast. toast. Mm -hmm. toast yes. Um, no sé cómo se dice el queso. <laughs> That's cottage. Se yes. lo escribo. Cottage cheese. Yes. yes. Cottage. Eh, Richard. Yes. yes. Wow. Richard. Wow. That's cottage cheese. Uh -huh. I, 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 I have a question for you. Yes. Is is really mascot with you? Rolly. With you? Rolly? Who is Rolly? <laughs> his dog. His dog. Oh. His, his, dog. Your, your, his name of his, his dog. It's my oh. dog. Rolly is my pet. Oh, okay. I, I thought the question was for Richard, so I was like, okay, so who's Rolly? Oh, that's your dog. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I was asking this question to Richard because uh, um, recuerdo que la última vez me comentaba que estaba como en una dieta bien estricta, so, wow, my total admiration. Do you eat that every day? ¿Cómo eso todos los días? Do you eat that every day? Yeah. Yes, yes, right. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Um, wow, what a discipline. Uh, Difficult Difficult for, for uh, pupusas. Uh, like, you don't eat pupusas? No. How often? Uh, How often do yes. you eat pupusas? Yes. Like it. How often? Yeah. How often, How Richard? Often. ¿Qué tan a menudo? How often do you eat pupusas? <sighs> <laughs> three, <laughs> three months. <laughs> Once yes. every three months. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Um, <laughs> um, um, so sad. Yes. No, 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 it's, no, it's normal, Richard. But you can do it, Richard. You can do it. No, you can definitely do it. Richard, do you have a question? Guadalupe has a question for Richard. Yes. Richard, is true the hot me is bad for on the night? Oh, in the night. Uh, really? Uh, sorry, no, no listen. The oatmeal, oatmeal, right? Yes. It's true. Oatmeal is bad in the night. So, Richard, you mentioned that you eat avena. So, yes. that's oat, oatmeal. Oatmeal. Yes, uh, it's bad. <laughs> So Guadalupe's well, question is, is oatmeal bad for your body? Like, do you get a stomachache or mm -hmm. uh, diarrhea or something like that? No. No? Uh, no, because, uh, cause, no sé cómo se dice costumbre. Okay. Uh, al, your uh, body gets used to. Yes. Su cuerpo uh, se acostumbra. Yes, al, uh, al star is, yes, difficult. Um, your body? Yes. Gets used to. I'm going to write it down so su cuerpo se acostumbra. Your body yes. gets used to it. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. Uh, problem problem uh, can be uh, uh, dieta, uh, stomach cage header. Okay. Uh, yes. But, but amazing, Richard. So, ¿cuándo compite? When are you going to compete? Uh, Alta todavía bastante porque como um, because of the COVID. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Y one year quizá eh, 
Yes, for for um, to be ready. Yes, es como se dice palabra. Espérenme, espérenme. Hold on. Yes, yes. Hold on. Se, se, me, se me fue la palabra. <laughs> okay, okay, no worries. Uh, no, but but nice. Uh, Keep working on it. Uh, process, process, um, time. Okay, okay. Yes. No, and I, I guess it's really hard. Okay, but good, good for you. <laughs> so continue, continue, it's, it's you know, doing process. it. Teacher. It's a slow process. It's a slow okay. process, yes. Wow. Yes, yes, Ignacio. In my case, in my case, it's not, for example, eat or eating. Mm -hmm. In my case, the principle is drink. But mm. since 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 yesterday, I have decided not to ingest alcoholic beverage. Oh. And artificial since drink. yesterday. Yeah, the, uh, since yesterday. Tomorrow okay. spring. Okay. So vea, vea, vea. Si esperemos que lo logre. ¿Cuál es la meta? What is your goal? In one year, forever. No, 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 no too much. Uh, 15, 15 days, maybe. Oh, <laughs> only 15 days. <laughs> Okay, no, pero por but, algo but, se comienza, you yeah, know, but, so yeah. But, but include the artificial drinks or Coca-Cola. Or, or, yeah, oh. or sweet bread include. Because, the, because it's hurt my, I, I, I have to high cholesterol and oh. the, and the, what is the, uh, Blood pressure? No, eh, triglyceridos. I don't speak in oh. triglyceridos okay. eh, in cholesterol. Yeah. So you need to reduce the levels. Yeah. Guys, deberíamos de hacer esa meta de inglés, you know. <laughs> Make it a goal. Hasta que terminamos el módulo eh, sin pan dulce y sin soda. <laughs> Tenemos una semana. It's a week. We can do it. We it's can do it. Because this month is donuts. <laughs> oh, donut. it's <laughs> true. I didn't remember. Have you eaten donuts, guys? Ya fueron a comprar? Today I do donuts for oh, me. Not yet? I don't okay. like it. You don't like Yeah, me neither, you no. know. I'm not too much into donuts. Creo que el domingo, I think on Sunday, pasé por el de, el de Metro Centro. Um, no me no recuerdo cómo se llama. Ya, yeah, los, los héroes, no. Ya, yeah, los héroes. Sí, But, no yeah, that was, yeah, that's right, that's los héroes. But it was 2 a.m. in the morning, and en las 2 de la mañana, you know, and there were like a lot of cars. Y yo todavía dije, qué raro, and my sister was with me, and we were like, ¿Qué pasó? Porque hay tanto carro parqueado, you know? Oh, my God. Estaba pero a reventar. It was 2 a.m. in the morning, and people were crazy buying, like, donuts. Yes. So I was yes. like, no. <laughs> I'm not going to eat donuts. No, Allá guys, pero una mundo, semana we can do it. What is it? Allá de mi manda. Really? No lo veo. No. Yo creo que estaba trabajando. I think he's working. Uh -huh. Well, Bueno, pero ya va a aparecer. He'll, he'll come back. Yes, yes, yes. Have you have you bought donuts? Are you eating are you eating donuts in this moment? No, no, I I not eating donut in this moment. Liar. Do you like yes. donuts a lot? Yes, I like. Liar. How But many I, donuts? I, But I, I want to lose weight oh, in this year. Vaya, ya ven, comencemos esta semana. <laughs> so no pastry, no pan dulce, no pan francés, no soda for one week, you know. <laughs> so let's see It's if difficult. it works. No It's beer. difficult. Yo no puedo. I can. Why not? For, for example, in my case, I, I it, 
In my case, it's difficult because Brian always <laughs> buy donuts <laughs> or, or Coca Cola. <laughs> Pero que no ya dijo que ya no tomaba. No, <laughs> Brian no, said he didn't no, drink anymore. No Perdí hace un mes y ya no pude salir de ahí otra vez. <laughs> ya no pude salir. Ah, con lo del pan. Sí. Por sobra. Ambas. No. <laughs> okay, that, that's crazy. <laughs> All right. Now, guys, but we can do it. We can lose weight. Al menos de cada tres meses. So ya podemos perder unas cinco libras, right? <laughs> we can lose some weight. Ya le vamos a pedir los tips a, a Richard, you know. Richard, but do you lose weight? O solo es volumen? Yes, Guadalupe? Yes, sí, será volumen. I try uh, don't eat tortilla in the night this week. Ah. Uh, Oh, nice. Okay, nice. Well, actually, I said to myself today, mi plan de, este, de estos tres meses, my plan for the rest of the year is levantarme temprano to wake up early um, e ir al menos una hora a correr. So, like, go and run one hour. Comienzo ma mañana, ahí les cuento. <laughs> so, I let you know cuántos días me dure. Okay, probably one or two. No, but, I mean... Son metas a corto plazo, right? So that is something we can, podemos comenzar con. So that's great. De que a tres meses, guys, probably we can lose some. <laughs> okay. Now let's move on a little bit. Um, so I saw you already. It's super bien con las preguntas. Very nice structure. Así que vamos y, y practiquemos estas. For example, number one. Tenemos acá un pedacito que dice, Lisa, to swim. Dice to swim, pero remember, el tú no es necesario que se lo pongamos. So, in the lake, Lisa, and to swim. ¿Cómo puedo hacer la pregunta? Utilizando presente continuo. How can I make questions here? Is Lisa swimming in the lake? Perfect, exactly. So, is Lisa sw swimming in the lake? Mm -hmm. Y doble M con swimming, right? What about number two? Help me with number two. No es necesario que las escriban a menos que lo necesiten. But try, let's try to do it orally. Number two. Ayúdenme con la segunda, please. Is your brother helping you? Oh, ok. Esa es una posibilidad. Is your brother helping you? Very good. ¿Cuál sería la siguiente? Como, ¿estás ayudando a tu hermano? How can we make it? Is you helping your brother? Super bien. Solo hagamos un pequeño cambio con is you. Are you? Are you? <laughs> okay, there we go. Exactly, no worries. Are you helping your brother? Very good. Good, good, good. What about number three? Who wants to help me with number three? He to visit a museum. Did he visit a museum? Okay, good. Vamos a agregarle ING a visit. 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 Visiting, exactly. Is he visiting a museum? Okay, very good. There we go. Number four. Who has number four? Norbert, do you have number four? Um, Jocelyn, can you help us with number four? Is Doris was in her t-shirt? Is Doris? Is Doris wash washing? Is Doris is Doris washing her t-shirt? Okay, good. Washing. Okay, good, good, good. Exactly. So, is Doris? Remember, el tú no lo necesitamos. So, is Doris washing her T-shirt? Very good. Number five. ¿Quién nos ayuda con las cinco? Who wants to help us with five? Are, Are they, they running, running home? home? Quitémosle el tú. Are they? Running. Are they running home? Running, running home. home. Perfect. Are they running home? 
Number six, to the radio, Henry, to listen. Remember, el to acaba dentro del verbo, pero no se lo vamos a poner cuando son presente continuo. So, number six. Is Henry listening to the radio? Is Henry listening to the radio? Very good. I like it. Nice. Um, mm, mm, creo que vi a, a Jocelyn activar el mic. Not sure. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Can you help us with number seven? Um, are, are the boys? Mm -hmm. Luego care, tenemos caring. Caring. Mm -hmm. The rackets. Super bien. Very good. Thank you. That's really nice. Number eight. Um, let me see. Nelson, ¿está por acá? Can you help us, Nelson? Yes, teacher. Amazing. Number eight, please. Uh, is she holding the string of the kit? The kite. Mm -hmm. Kite. Great, great. Is she holding? Como está ella sosteniendo. Is she holding the string of the kite? Está sosteniendo como el, el, el hilo, right? De la... Um, eh, Del cometa, piscucha, whatever you want to call it. Okay, thank you so much, Nelson. Very good job. Um, ¿Estamos bien con las preguntas? Are we good with the questions? ¿Dudas con cómo hacerlas? Any, any, any questions? How to make questions? No, this is fine. Okay, amazing. So that means it's your time to uh, practice the following. Give me one second. Okay, vamos a hacer uno más. We are going to do one more. And then, uh, vamos a irnos un poquito a speaking practice. So, just one more. Number one, eh, let me see. Aquí no he escuchado ahora. Claudia, todo el, no. Sara, even camino. Claudia, ¿está por acá? Can you help us with number one? Marvin López, are you around? I think I saw Claudia. Uh, Claudia, hello. Ayúdanos con la primera, please. Help hello. us with the first. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. miss. Sí. Sigo un poco mal de mi garganta. Oh, yeah. Ya, ya le escuché. <laughs> Pero sí. ya, ya se fue a hacer el examen, miss. ¿Todo bien? Todo bien. Solo es como rinofaringitis aguda. Oh, okay. No worries. Si gusta, escríbamelo para que no fuerza mucho la garganta. Please. Mm -hmm. That's with number one. Me alegra, Miss, que no sea nada grave. And no. I hope you get better soon. <laughs> Espero <laughs> que se mejore prontito. Escríbame, it's fine. Too. It's totally Thank great. Mm -hmm. Number two, Marvin, ¿está por acá? Alex. Yes, yes. Okay. Help us with number two, please. Ayúdenos con la segunda. How can you complete it? She is talking on the phone now. No. Okay. So, yeah, exactly. She's talking, right? She's talking on the phone. Mm -hmm. Very good. Number three, Eduardo. ¿Está por acá, Eduardo? Can you help us with three? It's not there. Uh, Clary was sick. Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. Miss Delgadillo. Okay, I guess now. Uh, Brian, ayúdenos con la tres, porfa. Help us with number three. They are dancing at the moment. Mm -hmm. Very good. They are dancing at the moment. Um, let me go with, I haven't heard some of them. Pedrina? Well, Norbert is ready. So Norbert, uh, help us with number four. Porfa, y Pedrina, ayúdame con la cinco. Help me with number five. Okay, teacher, here, Irene. 
Five foot no. Okay, very good. Pedrina, number five, please be quiet. Eh, Pedrina, me, me logré escuchar. Le veo activado el micrófono, but no le escucho. No, el, el, de hecho el audio lo tiene activado. Creería que es más un problema de, Yo sí, sí. de conexión. Deme un segundo. Ya apareció. Ok, no, ella sí me escucha, pero nosotros no. Say hello, Pedrina. Creería que es conexión. So, Pedrina, eh, si me escucha, eh, escríbamelo, porfa. Creería que tenemos alguna dificultad con el audio. But eh, escríbame la número 5, porfa. Ayúdeme con number 5. The one that says be quiet. Um, Vi a René listo también por ahí. So, René, help me with number 6, please. María is studying at the moment. Okay, and number seven as well. <laughs> we are jumping now. Okay, perfect. There we go. Number Anita. Anita, can you help us with number eight? Um, yes, teacher. Um, I had to utilizar el das, teacher. Eh, no, acá estamos utilizando el verbo to be más el ing. That I, I am studying, I am jumping, I am eating. ¿Qué es lo que está haciendo ahorita? Uh, ¿Qué haces, so Claudia? You watching TV right now. Ok, very good. Solo vamos a agregarle también el verbo to be. So you are watching TV right now. Very nice. Um, Claudia, gracias por su ejemplo también. Um, he is going to work by bus today. Super bien. Solamente una cosita, yes, exactly. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ese era, pero me alegra que lo identificó. That was the one. Okay. Um, so, Pedrina, me ayuda cuando esté lista con las cinco. I am missing number nine. Karina, help me with number nine, please. I am working today. Okay, perfect. I am working today. And number 10, the one that says, listen. Guadalupe, can you help us with number 10? Listen. Listen, he's playing the guitar. Amazing, amazing. Very good, guys. So this is present continuous, all right? Remember, lo utilizamos para hablar de ahorita o lo utilizamos también para hablar de futuro. So right now, vamos a practicar un poquito de speaking. So tengo un par de preguntas for you. Ready? But okay, you know, you go and we listen to your answers. Give me one second. Let me show you here. There we go. Okay. So this is just a little bit of a speaking. Tenemos un par de preguntas para que podamos practicar este tema, right? So, for example, what are you thinking about at this very moment? Guys, ¿en qué están pensando? Probably you're in classes. Pero nuestro cerebro vuela. So, <laughs> our mind flies away, right? So, ¿en qué están pensando? What are you thinking about at this very moment? So, como son respuestas largas, I'm going to use I'm thinking about. Estoy pensando en, right? For example, now que Richard menciona pupusas, I am thinking about buying pupusas tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I don't know why, but I'm thinking about it. Yeah. So, I'm about it for uh, I doing exercise the next class. You are thinking about doing exercise. Yeah. During classes. Next class. After class. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, please after. <laughs> okay, so you're thinking about Sorry, doing exercise after classes. Wow, at 10 p.m. Yes. From no. 10 to 11. Yes, yes. Wow. Okay. Oh, okay. So, nos cuenta. I mean, if you do it, tell us. Y nos cuenta cómo, cómo se siente. Because mm -hmm. alguien ha hecho ejercicio ya como tarde. Have you ever done exercise late at night? 9, 10, 11 p.m.? Yes. 
No. No. Nobody. Para saber, you know, si da menos sueño o más sueño. <laughs> or, uh -huh, I don't know. Interesting. So, it works. No, yo igual, igual. Yes, Mabel. How do you say que yo por el contrario? Uh, on the, in my case, uh -huh. it is the opposite. Okay, in my case, it is the opposite. I am thinking of eating something. I am hungry. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're not thinking about doing exercise? <laughs> but, but did you have dinner? Yes. Okay, you're just hungry. Yeah, me too. Pero creo que dejé fruta. I think I have some bananas and apples. <laughs> I'm going to get something to eat after classes. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm hungry. Comí muy temprano. I had dinner at 5 p.m. So that was too early, I think. <laughs> okay, I'm hungry now. So, but this is very interesting because you can give us a lot of ideas. So, normally we are thinking about 10, 11, 20 things at the same time. So, what are you thinking about? Then we have, how are you feeling right now? Yeah. Como en este momento, how are you feeling? Remember, no solamente tenemos fine. Hay muchas formas de expresarlo. Oh, I am worried. Estoy preocupada, right? Um, I'm hungry because I haven't eaten anything. I'm a little thirsty. So podemos expresar tantas cosas. What is happening in the room around you? Como si hay algo moviéndose or anything. What is the leader of your country doing at the moment? What is your t-shirt wearing today? Inventenselo, right? Is anything happening through the window? Si tienen alguna ventana, ven algo moverse? Yeah, so is anything happening through the window? O afuera de sus casas? For example, outside my house, hay unos perros ladrando. There are some dogs barking, and there are some... Eh, some cats on the roof of my house. So they are walking, I think. Um, are you reading anything? Are you watching anything good on TV? What is happening in the news this week? So que esta pasando, right? What is happening these days in the news? Um, todos están hablando del partido de la selecta. Everybody is talking. Everybody is saying. So in, in the, in, vamos a intentar dar detalles. Um, guys, vamos a unirnos a los grupos. We are going to join groups. Discutamos todas las que podamos, as many as we can. Si hay algo que no puedan expresarlo, por favor, escríbanlo. O me llaman al, al room y pues yo llego y, y revisamos juntos cómo decirlo. So, les voy a dar más o menos cinco o siete minutitos. Luego regresamos y vamos a ir al one minute talk. Vamos a hacerlo como de 45 segundos, 45 seconds talk, ¿ok? So, practiquemos tanto como podamos, por favor. Practice as much as you can. Let's go. Vámonos, guys. Let's go, go, go. Le pueden tomar captura, you know. Just in case. Take a picture, please. Good evening, teacher. Escuché la voz de Carlos. Yes, I am. Here. Hey, Carlos, how are you? All fine. Great, thanks a lot. Gracias por acompañarnos. How are you? Todo bien? Yes, Acabo de terminar de trabajar. No, uh, I didn't have energy. Really? Yes. I saw you viendo. Has yes. it been raining? The the rain that match uh, the cable of the light. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Guys, uh, repair the. Ah, okay. The service. Yes, the service. So the service is back. Okay. No, but I, I'm I'm happy to 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 see you here. Si de repente escuché su voz, and I was like, hey. <laughs> All right, that's Carlos' voice. All right, but thank you, thank you so much for that. That's amazing to have you back, eh, guys. Les acabo de enviar like, oh, Carlos, le comento qué es lo que estamos haciendo right now. 
-huh. Estamos practicando un poquito de eh, present continuous. So, acá están como las preguntitas, right? And uh, vamos a ir a discutirlos con los compañeros. Si gusta tomarle una foto, le envío ahorita la invitación para que se pueda unir. Ok. Uh -huh. So, vamos a practicar tantas preguntas como sea posible, right? Eh, Karina, ok. Chicos, les acabo de enviar la invitación. Me confirman si todos tienen acceso, porfa. Marvin, eh, Clary, Nelson, eh, Jackie, Eduardo. Eh, Claudia, podemos unirnos y escuchar. You know, yo sé que no, no, quizás no pueda participar mucho, pero sí nos ayuda como al entrenamiento del oído. Eduardo, I sent you the invitation to. Eh, Ignacio, le compartí la invitación tú. Me, me confirma, porfa, sí. Si la logra ver, right? If you can see that. No. No veo. Está en la, uh, está en la computadora, ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya, deme un segundito. Dime, ya está aceptando. Eh, logra ver su menú donde le aparece audio, cámara logra ver ese, men ese menú eh, sí, sí ok, el último que le aparece dice más mm, no. en esta ventana aparece renombrar mm. esa que abrí no, no, no. Um, creo que no le puedo mostrar mi cámara. Pero, ok. Donde usted activa y desactiva su audio. Ah. Hay, en esa barrita, la última, la última opción dice más. La lo logra ver. Un segundo. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Vaya, no se preocupe, déjenme eh, actualizarla ahorita. Tendría que aparecerle, ah. dice grupo reducido. Ocho participantes, un segundo. No, invitar nomás. Sesión de grupos, eso no era. Sesión de grupo. Ah, sala 2, usted ha sido ah, sí. asignado a la sesión de sala 2. Ah, ok. Exacto, okay. esta es, le da clic y ya lo va, lo va a llevar. Uh
हाँ जैकी Already, so thanks a lot for coming back, guys. Gracias por regresar. I hope you have the chance to practice a little bit, right? Um, and uh, well, el tiempo nos se va de prisa here. Time flies. Um, así que let's go ahead and check some of the questions. Eh, solamente tengo un par de anuncios, and uh, pretty much that will be it for today. So first, revisamos esto primero. Let's take a look at this first. Tenemos un segundito. Me falta todavía. Okay, everybody's back. All right, guys, so gracias por regresar. <clears throat> Thank you so much for coming back. Um, so, yeah, this goes really quick. All right, so I hope you got like some chance to practice them a little bit. Vamos a continuar con este tema el día de mañana que terminamos la unidad número tres. Guys, remember, terminamos nuestro módulo la próxima semana el día miércoles. So, el día de mañana terminamos la unidad número 3, significa plataforma unidad 3 debería estar completada. Eh, en la parte número 3 hay un ejercicio que está, estoy esperando, you know, que me lo corrijan, eh, por si ya llegaron ahí, es el ejercicio número 14, no sé si alguien ha encontrado dificultades o ya todos lo terminaron. Did anybody finish? No, teacher, in my case. I am how problem. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. ¿En qué ejercicio? Mm, hall. Oh, okay. Vaya, permítame, le presento mi pantalla y me dice si hay como algún ejercicio específico que le esté dando como alguna dificultad. Because eh, con Clary estábamos revisando uno and uh, probablemente es el mismo. Probably is the same. So. Tu, 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 Permítanme un segundo, solo le presento pantalla acá. Let me just present it here. Ok, so, eh, la tarea número 11, right, eh, es de lo que veíamos al inicio de esta unidad, que son algunos em empleos relacionados con HR. So, tienen, por ejemplo, Talent Management Consultant, HR, etc. Y solamente de seleccionar la respuesta correcta. El número 12, right, Um, dice acá, read the following information and answer true and false. Tienen una pequeña lectura. You have a little reading here. Y pues solamente es de true, false. No tienen yeah. que escribir nada más, right? Number 13, que fue la del día de ayer. Um, el día de ayer revisamos un poquito el presente continuo. Algo importante de recordar es presente continuo es no solo el ING, no solo I playing, I sleeping, I eating. Mm -mm. Uh, presente continuo significa el verbo to be más el ING. Por ejemplo, identify the mistake in each sentence and correct it. Dice que vamos a identificar el error y vamos a corregirlo. So, number one, my boss traveling to Colombia for training about sales. ¿Qué está incorrecto? What is incorrect in this exercise? Falta el verbo to be. Falta el verbo to be. Ah, solo falta el verbo to be. Exactly. So that is the point. So, revisamos, lo corregimos, and then that would be it, right? So, vamos um, a ir corrigiendo y revisando qué es lo que le hace falta a cada uno. A unas eh, de estos es, por ejemplo, le, una letra está incorrecta. El verbo to be está incorrecto, no tendría que ser, por ejemplo, am, sino que is, or are, y cosas de este tipo. Now, um, yes, Mabel. Um, yo estuve haciendo este y la dos no me sale y no le comprendo por qué. 
la número dos Porque la tiene el verbo to be, ahí lo que tenía en la pantalla. Vaya, deme un segundo. Uh -huh. um, remember que vamos a escribir la, la pregunta o la oración completa, right? Ya le muestro uh -huh. y me dice a dónde tiene, a dónde le está dando dificultades. Ok, en la número dos, la que dice, I am writing a... Um, Esa, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ajá. Vaya. Mm, ¿Qué es lo que no... Lo voy a hacer más grande para que veamos que ya estoy medio ciega. Vaya. Vaya. ¿Cuál, es, no ¿cuál es el cuál, error? Creo que yo no lo entiendo cuál es el error, porque sí tiene el verbo to be y sí está el ing en el verbo y no le entiendo cuál puede ser el error. O sea, no, no me sale... Mm. Ok, no, got it. Dale la E. Creo que por ah. ahí la respuesta. Ay, la letra E. Es waiting. Dios okay. mío. Va, okay. va sin gracias. Thank you. Ok, so that is the one. Yeah, son como letritas nada más. Es solamente la parte de spelling. Eh, la 14, que es la, la de el día de ahora, right? So, tenemos un poquito de simple past, que ya lo vimos también. We already checked that. Um, so, tenemos was and were solamente, un tema que ya hemos revisado a little bit. Y ustedes seleccionan ahí cuál sería la forma apropiada del simple past. La del día de mañana, que si podemos terminarla ahora sería súper bien. That would be amazing. El día de mañana vamos a revisar pasados. So, es como, yes. Yes, no questions. Dice por acá, answer the following question and use short answers. Give positive or negative answers. Por ejemplo, was I late? Llegué tarde. So remember, si mi pregunta es con el pasado, mi respuesta va a ser con pasado. Was I late? Llegué tarde. Yes. yes. No puedo usar I, tú, no puedo usar... Uh -huh. Yes. Pero no me sale ninguna forma. Vaya, dígame cuáles son algunas de las respuestas que estamos usando. Yes. No, Dice give positive or negative answer. Dice que puede ser cualquiera de ellas. Was I late? No, I was. I was not. Solo una cosita antes de nada. Recordemos que con el ya sea no or yes, va no. Y luego una coma. Y utilizo yes, yes, y siempre va una coma y espacio. So, eso yes. es para cuestiones gramaticales. No, coma, espacio. Yes, coma, espacio. Puede ser yes, I was, punto, porque ahí termina, right? O si fuera un no, so no, I. Y a veces, sometimes, la dificultad está en este puntito de aquí arriba, en el apóstrofe. Right? Porque si se fijan, mi apóstrofe ahorita es como una línea. Pero eh, si yo cambio, si yo cambio mi teclado, por ejemplo, el apóstrofe también va a cambiar un poquito. It's going to change a little bit. Well, ya no me sale. Wait. <laughs> ok. So, um, my, mi recomendación con este apostrophe es que abran otra eh, tab y lo busquen en Google. Apostrophe y lo copien y lo peguen. Porque yes. es como una comita, you know. Entonces, a veces, eh, a mí no me lo marca. So, no me lo marca con... I'm gonna change it again. So, me lo, no me lo marca de esta forma. Entonces, solamente lo copio y lo pego y ya se arregla la situación, right? It is fixed. So, son de las cosas que podemos hacer. Si por alguna razón no se las acepta, me escríbanme, porfa, mándenme captura del ejercicio que no les está aceptando para poder ver de qué manera lo podemos solucionar o buscamos uh, un workaround, right? Um, dígame, Norbert. Eh, tell solamente, me. solamente sería este, la, eh, poner el ejercicio, con, o sea, la, ¿cómo decirle? La oración completa en el cuadro, ¿verdad? En este último ejercicio, ¿no, Arbor? Oh, en, en, el, en el 13. En el 13, permítame, regreso. Es que hay, hay ejercicio que solamente le pone la, la, la parte incorrecta o la correcta. Mm, pero, sí, pero no, en este no, Norbert. En este tiene que escribir la oración completa. 
Ah, donde okay. dice identify the mistake and correct it. Sí, yo sé, a veces solamente que le pongamos my boss se lo va a aceptar, pero este no, le va a pedir la oración completa. Entonces, okay. para, para evitar, uh -huh, like okay, the full sentence. Only a question, teacher. Thank you. No, you're welcome. You're welcome anytime. Ok, guys, nos vamos en dos minutitos. Solamente ayúdenme con su camarita, porfa. Let me take attendance y me regalan confirmación que están acá. Give me verbal confirmation that you are right here. So, what I have to raise the seven. All right. So, Ana Delmi, regálenme confirmación. Anita, porfa. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Brian. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Danis. Gracias. Qué raro, pero me está Ok, eh, Saraí. Saraí tiene problemas con el audio, este t-shirt. Ok, thank you so much. Eh, thank you. Ah, sí, ya la vi. Hola, Miss. <ríe> Ahí soy. Thank you. Eduardo. Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Gracias. Jacqueline. Jocelyn. Present, teacher. Gracias, Miss. Ignacio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Norbert. Present teacher. Thank you. Alex. I, I'm here, teacher, because Thank I you. have a little problem for my audio for cell phone. Oh, no worries, but thank you so much, Alex. Uh, Marvin Lopez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Clary. Well, Clary, creo que se sentía mal. Uh, Moses, not here. But Nelson. Hi, teacher. Thank you, uh, Nelson. Pedrina. Pedrina, oh, ya la vi. Thank you. Creo que todavía tenemos problemitas con el audio, Pedrina, pero ya la vi. Thank you so much. René. Present, teacher. Present, present. Gracias. Ricardo. Present, teacher. Present. Gracias. Mabel. Brenda. Carlos. Present teacher. Present. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Carlos. Claudia. Well, Claudia está un poquito malita. I got you, Claudia. Thank you so much. And Karina. All right. Okay, everybody. So thanks a lot. Gracias por la super asistencia que tenemos, you know. Esperemos terminar de esta semana hasta la número cuatro. Ayúdenme con la tarea, porfa, de la unidad número 3. Yes. And that's it. Gracias, guys. Que descansen. Que tengan muy buena noche. Bye bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thanks, teacher. Good night. Have a good night. Bye bye. bye, -bye you are teacher. welcome. Have a bye. Good night. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Hey, good night. Good night. See you. Good see night. you. See you. Bye, see you tomorrow. No sé si lo mejor que pudiste dejar porque ya no sé. <laughs>